That was a smooth face, friends. Ash here. Hope that you're doing well. Uh, today, we're talking about smooth scents that smell great in the cold. Sexy smooth scents, just like that face that I made. Use that when you approach somebody you're attracted to, you're guaranteed to date. You look pretty. Got a great mix of fragrances here. Some designer, some niche. Let's jump into it. Bad smooth sense. Here we go. We're gonna kick things off with one of the new commodity releases, Gold Plus or Gold Bold. I did a video here recently on commodities relaunch, where I just checked out their uh, their discovery kit, went over some of the fragrances, the whole idea. But in case you missed that, now commodity has relaunched with this scent space idea. So basically, as of right now, they've got six fragrances. And each one of those six fragrances, you can get in one of three different styles. So you have the original version, which is now called the expressive version. And those come in bottles that look like this. They've got the, uh, the familiar white on black lettering. And it says right there, scent space expressive for me and the many around me. And then there's these, which have a little minus. And these are the personal fragrances. So this one is moss minus or moss personal and this is for me and the few i allow close and then each one of the fragrances has one of these the uh, plus fragrances or bold and this one is for me and everyone else don't like it too bad so this one has isoe super it's got amber vanilla sandalwood this one is really sweet and warm and rich i've also got a bit of saffron in here as well now one thing that I've noticed with these commodity fragrances, these new versions of the commodity fragrances is for some people, they are a little bit divisive, but not in the way that you might think. So usually when you say divisive, what that means is some people are gonna rock with it and other people are gonna say, man, that smells like disgusting feet, toe jam and cheese. Well, maybe not that, that's kind of gross, but it just won't work for them. That's not what's going on here. The divisiveness comes because some of the fragrances, their new versions, especially the bold ones, start to trend a bit masculine. And so traditionally commodity fragrances have ridden a line that's kind of for the most part, unisex, and they still are, but some of them now are like unisex leaning masculine, depending on the fragrance we're talking about. And so for some ladies out there that maybe rocked the expressive versions of these in the past, they're trying out the bold ones and they go, ah, oh, it's too manly for me. And this is one of those gold, bold, does lean a little bit more masculine than the expressive one used to. I think it smells great in the cold though. And uh, while it's not a performance monstrosity, it is pretty good. Now those commodity fragrances, you can use the code GENTS10 and save 10% off the entire line. Also on twistedlily.com, you can use GENTS10 and save off everything on that website. So if you do shop any commodity fragrances, use that code, save some money. I'll have all these fragrances linked in the description. One thing that I would say, the discovery kit for commodity is great. I'm talking the full on one, the one that gives you every fragrance and every style of every fragrance. Also gives you, uh, well, check out the video I did. It's got a lot of stuff in there. It's awesome. So my suggestion to you would be if you're interested in commodity fragrances, any of them, check out the discovery kit because every one of these fragrances, like I said, has three different versions and you can bust through each one of them on skin, on paper, and see which commodity fragrances work the best for you. That's my suggestion. I would try the discovery kit first. This is one of those times that I think it is absolutely worth sampling each one first, because maybe you like the personal version of one fragrance, the bold version of another, personal of another, expressive of another, you know, better safe than sorry. Up next, Cavalli Deep Desire. Now the Cavalli Womo line does not get enough love, in my opinion. These fragrances are really solid, each one of them. The original Silver Essence Deep Desire and La Note, which is now really hard to find. This one has cedar, cinnamon, cashmere, pepper, mandarin, orange. It is a stunning evening cool weather scent. There's just enough sweetness in here and spiciness with the masculine woodsy undertone. It is great on evenings out. Performance is not bad. It's not insane, but it's good enough because this is that type of scent where people are going to be kind of drawn to you. It's got that magnetic alluring kind of feel to it. Doesn't smell like Dolce & Gabbana is the one, but you know, it's going to put you in a similar state of mind. It's 
it's doing the same things. Really wonderful scent and one that basically just fragrance people know about. So if you grab that one and rock it, I would bet you nobody else is. Ooh, nice personal favorite right here. Valentino Womo Intense. And guys, do you know who shines in the cold? The beast mode gents, of course, because they're beast mode. And you gotta have beast mode in the cold. It's just common sense. Shout out to the Beast Mode Gents for sponsoring the channel, for supporting me. Love you guys. If you want to join the Beast Mode Gents, you can click the join button to check out the membership tiers or check out the link in the description below. Shout out to you guys. Once again, back to the video. Vanilla, Iris, Tonka, Leather, and Orange. Some of the notes in this one. Gets compared to Dior Omen Tense, and that's because the Iris in here is similar to the Iris in Dior Omen Tense. It just smells so good <laughs> like this is one of those fragrances where when i smell it it's almost like um it's like a vice like a guilty pleasure like when you smell it you almost feel like uh, you're doing something wrong because it's so so uh so great smelling it's like eating chocolate or something you just smell it and, oh good just kind of lose the uh functionality of your brain for a second there just go full primal uh fragrance nice fragrance good the vanilla and tonka melding together with the iris here giving it that sweetness that slight effervescence above this heavier leather that sits underneath do be warned though if you've never smelled it it does have a bit of that maybe you would call it makeup-y iris uh, some people don't like that style of iris note and it does lean more toward evening wear or formal situations for some people next up Amouage Boundless. It has cardamom, tobacco, myrrh, vanilla, and incense, among other notes. This one off my skin in the opening is just killer. It's got this kind of effervescence to it. It's got that, that sparkly sort of resinous feel. And those resins mixed with sweet cardamom and a tobacco leaf to just create a stunning masculine scent with great performance, which you would kind of expect from Amouage. You know, they, they typically last for a long time. This one is great for a number of reasons. It keeps that that mass appeal that a lot of Amouage fragrances have had, or recent Amouage fragrances, I should say, but it still has that niche edge to it that's gonna definitely set it apart from designer fragrances. So it's this sort of best of both worlds approach. Some people, you know, people that are really, really into those more challenging fragrances might smell that and say, yeah, it's not challenging enough. But I think for the overwhelming vast majority of people, that one is gonna tick just about every box. Next up, Yves Saint Laurent, La Nuit de l'Homme L'Entense. Iris, Tonka, Vanilla, Violet, and Patchouli, some of the notes in this one. This is a definite overlooked flanker. This one has remnants of the original La Nuit de L'Homme Eau de Toilette in here. Not a whole lot. That cardamom is, is really noticeably missing here. But in terms of just being a smooth, more mature kind of fragrance, it is that. It smells really nice. It has the right amount of sweetness, not too much. The iris in here, not as makeup-y as you're going to find in Valentino Womo Intense that we talked about earlier. Here, it kind of melts together with violet, so it gives you this interesting floral combination. And then they add in a bit of patchouli there in the base to try to to amp up the masculinity a little bit, you know, give it a slight edge as it dries down. Really nice choice for formal situations. Nice choice for date nights, especially if you're not trying to come across maybe a little too try hardy. You know, it doesn't bash you over the head with sweetness, but it still has enough to pull positive attention. Got a newer one here. It's the most wanted. Mazzaro, cardamom, toffee, amber wood. Some of the notes in this scent. This is through and through. A very modern gourmandy scent that has similarities to a number of other fragrances out there. But if we're talking about just being a uh, smooth and in this circumstance, sweet fragrance that rocks in cold. Yeah, this will do it. Rocks in cold. Yeah, this one's got a very alluring opening and frankly, mid and dry down as well. It's that type of scent that draws people in and pulls considerable compliments. Much more than I expected when I first smelled it. When I just, you know, smelled it sitting here, first impression wise, I thought, yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, not super unique, but pretty nice. And I started wearing it out and about and pff, man, people love it. Sometimes you can't quite nail down how good something is gonna be in public 
before you just go wear it around people. This is how it is, man. Wonderful scent though. It really is. Even if it's not the most original thing on the planet, it, it smells really good. And I'd say one of the best releases of the year, most wanted. Last up, a fragrance I've not talked about for a minute. It is absolute gold. Well, code absolute gold from Giorgio Armani. It's got Tonka, Saffron, Iris, Benzoin, Mandarin Orange is some of the notes in the scent. Now, this one obviously is a flanker to code absolute, which I personally love. And I've got to say, I really like absolute gold as well. The main addition here that most people are going to kind of gravitate toward or pinpoint as the, the big defining difference between this one and absolute, it's going to be the iris that's been put in here. So that does give it this uh, little bit of a floral edge, this soft floral edge, a little little bit of powder in there as well, not, not too much. But that's gonna be the main thing that sets this apart from Absolute. And also I would say, maybe tone down the sweetness just ever so slightly with this one. It is though, very sexy scent, very smooth, and maybe you could say even ever so slightly more mature than Absolute, which is more mature than Profumo. <laughs> So it's almost like you have Profumo, which is the loudest of the bunch, the most youthful of the bunch, and then Absolute, which is kind of in between, and then Absolute Gold, which is the, the most refined of the bunch. I'm kind of like Goldilocks here, where Absolute for me is like just the right temperature, you know? But Absolute Gold shines in its own right. Though I will say that for a lot of people out there, if you already have Absolute, then Absolute Gold might come across a bit redundant for you. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me with these sexy, smooth scents that work well in the cold. As always, thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.